Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differentiation. And if I talk about the question that is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us y is equal to x plus root of 1 plus x square to raise to n. And we have been asked to find the value of 1 plus x square with the second derivative of y and x dy by dx. So we have been asked to find what is the value of this entire expression. And if I talk about the answer choices that are present here in the question, it says n square y. Second option, it says minus n square y. Third option, it tells us minus y. And the fourth option, it tells us 2x square y. So you get this answer choices given. Now, if I talk about the question here, the question says y is x plus root of 1 plus x square, the whole raised to n. So you have this entire thing. If I take the derivative, the first derivative with respect to x, so differentiating with respect to x, I get dy by dx is equal to Derivative of x raised to n, we know it is n into x raised to n minus 1. So x in this case is this entire expression. Into, we have assumed this entire expression as x, so we take the derivative of that as well. So if I take the derivative of that as well, what I get here is for the n, x plus root of 1 plus x squared whole raised to n minus 1, so I can write that as n upon x plus root of 1 plus x Because this upon this only gives you n minus 1. Derivative of this entire thing, you get derivative of x is 1 and derivative of root of 1 plus x square is 1 over 2 into root of 1 plus x square into derivative of 1 plus x square, that is 2x. So this and this gets cancelled, you are left with n x plus root of 1 plus x square raised to n over x plus root of 1 plus x square into this gives us root of 1 plus x square plus x over root of 1 plus x square. So if I see this and this gets cancelled, you are left with dy by dx is equal to n x plus root of 1 plus x square raised to n upon you have root of 1 plus x square. So if I see root of 1 plus x square. Now what I understand is x plus root of 1 plus x square the whole raised to n. I can write that as y because that is equal to y. right? So I can write that as, and taking root of 1 plus x square on the other side, I get root of 1 plus x square. dy by dx is equal to n. This becomes y raised to n. So you get this as not y raised to n. It entire thing was y. So I'll have to erase this. So you get n into y. Now once you have this, you know that you need d2y by dx square. And you need dy by dx as well. So what I can understand from this is if I try to square it. So squaring both sides. You get 1 plus x square. dy by dx the whole square. Is equal to n square and y square. Now if I take the derivative again. So let's take the derivative again. So if I try to take the derivative again. For this entire expression, 1 plus x square, I'll write it as it is, into derivative of this if I take first, dy by dx the whole square, it gives me 2 times dy by dx and as assumed this is x. So if I take the differentiation of that again, I get d2y by dx plus if I keep this as it is now, we are using the product rule. So u into derivative of v plus v into derivative of u. 
So derivative of u is 1, derivative is 0, and x squared derivative is 2x. So you get that as 2x. So you have this entire thing which is equal to this becomes n square derivative of y square you get 2y and derivative of y is dy by dx now once you have this entire thing and if you compare it with the question that was given to us 1 plus x square we, we want it as d2y by dx square so we want only 1 plus x square and d2y by dx square in the first term when that is given to us, we understand we need to divide throughout by 2 and dy by dx. So if I divide throughout by 2 and dy by dx, I get this cancelled with this. This dy by dx cancels one of the dy by dx. This also gets cancelled. Here also 2 gets cancelled, dy by dx gets so what you are left with here is you are left with 1 plus x square d2y by dx square plus here you get x dy by dx is equal to n square y. So you get this as n square y but let's see if I have got the entire right hand side equal to the question which is asked to us. So you have got 1 plus x square d2y by dx square as a first term. Second term you have got is as x dy by dx. Yeah, so you have got second term also as x dy by dx. So we get the answer that it is equal to n square y. And if you see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So what we did was once I had y, I differentiated with respect to x. I got dy by dx, I converted my dy by dx again in terms of y. Then I took root of 1 plus x square on the other side and squared it. So you get this. Then we took the differentiation again with respect to x. So when we took that, we divided by 2 dy by dx throughout and we got the answer turning out to become equal to n square y for the question asked to us. And that matches with option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other questions from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11th, 12th as well as JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.